a few days later. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. Then you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. <laughs> I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He see me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now. Railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. We ain't playing around, Your baby. ready. We have a train to rob. Dude, this is gonna be awesome. Our first real gang-ish, baby. Out here. We're moving out. About to go rob a train, no big deal. We ain't hunting deer anymore. We ain't shooting bad guys. We're robbing trains, baby. excited about this let's go make that money and we got a beautiful day ahead of us okay, sun's gentlemen. coming up listen up all of you according to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls the train will be coming north from Big Valley we're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies there's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage Charles you'll keep lookout for any outriders How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's Got what it, coach. we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now, come on. Let's ride. Dude, this is sick. Woo! So we're, we're gonna do the, the heavy lifting here. We're gonna get in this private car and really... Really get into it. This is like a movie, dude. This is insane. Let's get this money, let's head west, let's get to some nice, sunny, happier spots. You can even see it off in the distance right here. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look. 
Look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes short. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money once we work out how to cash them. <laughs> now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Dude, this oh. game is so beautiful. Are you kidding me? Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. All right. Let's go check out our boy Bill. Let's see what he's yeah. got going on. How you getting on? Yeah, I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? <laughs> All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. All right. Laying the wire here, looks good. Let's not set this thing off prematurely. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others, I got it from here. Dude. Now we just gotta wait for the train, boys. You all right, bud? No mistake. Oh my goodness! I didn't know that was a thing, <laughs> dude. What? We would have What's mud on our on? back you now. Sure that was embarrassing. Fine. Sorry, fellas. We'll soon find out. Let's pretend like y'all didn't see that. All right. Everything okay? I think so. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and grab our gun. Now we want to switch the weapon wheel. Select close with R and press L2 and R2 to cycle. Looks good. It's kind of cool. You got to cover your face so people can't see. We got to remember Gentlemen, that for future. It's time. Future moments. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Here we go. There she blows. Oh no. You gotta be kidding me! Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. It's my Come fault. on! You're pathetic. You know that? Uh, shoot. Guess it's our fault, but we're gonna go jump on the train anyway. This is ridiculous, dude. Here we go. Here we go! We go! Woohoo! Well, Javier didn't make it. 
got you, brother. Help! I got you. Now stop yelling. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're okay. Now, let's go slow this thing down. Where's Javier? He fell. The others will get him. Should I? Uh, we don't have the bow. I was gonna say, should I use the bow to keep it nice and quiet? But all right, here we go. Should we just run across the top? This seems like the smartest thing to do, right? Okay, this guy's right here in front of us. He's down. They're down. All right. Gotta watch out behind us. Nope, nothing behind us. Well, hopefully Liddy can handle his own. Because we straight left him. Boom! Come on. Reverse the grapple. How? Gotta break free. There it is. Throw him off the train, let's go. Now we get to the front engine car. Let's shut this thing down. Now this is where it gets interesting. Woo! Good night. all these boys too. I don't really want to let it go. I guess let's take everybody down first though. Dude, there are so many guys. Hold on. Let's let's get height. Give me some cover. Sir, I'm just gonna loot all these guys first. I think eventually we're not gonna have to do that, but I feel like early on in the game we should try to get as much as we possibly can for uh, bonuses and health and little trinkets and stuff. So. You two all right? Yes. Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. Uh oh. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Hold on a minute. Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. <laughs> Here we go. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Wait, we're just just gonna start randomly shooting the thing. All right, whatever. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. <laughs> you two boys, go blow that door open. Wait, what happened? Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Aren't we gonna diffuse. blow up the stuff Do that we want to want to take? <laughs> Lit it with our boots. That's sick, dude. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Cool people walk away from explosions in slow mo. All right, come on. Good walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. My, oh we didn't my. want to rob your boss. 
Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. <clears throat> Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> I'll take some brandy. Why not? Stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will you? Got a little letter Shut here. Up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. Dear Mr. Cornwall, we are yet to receive payment okay. at 2000 for the initial Let's phase of exploration at the Wapiti Indian Reservation. Take this dude's cigar. Got another little letter we can take a look at here. There. See? That's how it's done. Shit. Just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here, make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Take a look at what's inside his cabinet. Railroad. Nothing, contacts, but we'll take the cigar. Invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Ooh. Sugar imports. A safe. West Indies. Some. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> Let's go. I am not robbing another foe as long as I live. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> I'm gonna take some more brandy too. Why not? If we're here, we're here. Wait, wait, wait. What's on this? Pocket watch. Platinum. That'll sell for a pretty penny. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When Shoot, you get back, dude. we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. See, like, I want to be a noble guy. Okay. Get on the train. Quick. Hold it. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on. I want to be a noble guy, but I feel like... Tell a soul, I swear. I feel like he will tell a soul. Said quick. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car... You'll end up like all your friends out here. Hmm. All right. I'm going to go loot the rest of these guys, and then we're going to send this train on its merry way. I don't know, dude. I don't... It's tough. I want to be a good guy. I want to be noble. I want to I wanna have some honor. Honor among thieves, I guess you could say. But, um... I feel like that's going to come back to bite us in the butt. We're, we're, we're going to roll with it for now. Grab this last guy to loot. Snake oil is kind of cool. So you drink the snake oil to be able to, to use Deadeye. I like that. Heading back to the engine car here. Go ahead and start up the train. Release the brakes. They're gonna get to town and they're gonna be screwed, dude. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. <laughs> we got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. 
We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Well, it's time to leave our first little home. Back on the road again. Things are starting to look up. Our bellies are full. The storm has stopped and we got some money in our pockets, so I guess things could be going worse. We're still being hunted. We're still outlaws, but... We're heading to greener pastures. That's what I'm talking about. I like seeing that green. It's about time we get out of this Lenny, wintry Lenny, nonsense. Get over here. Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. This would be sketchy. Crossing waterfalls like this, if your wagon gets caught in the current, you're just going over. I don't know if I like that. Get us out the stream. Yeah, dude, our wheels looking sketchy. You seen that? Ah, shit. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. Okay. Go ahead and hit her in there. It was simple. It's easier than changing a tire. You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, dude, that's not good. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. We're getting hunted. Stalked, at least. I don't know about hunted now. yet. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So... Yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? That's a good point. We don't. In spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles. Born and bred. 
Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, Speed things up a little bit. What happened to your tribe? Come on, horses. I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. Jeez. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. 13 years old. A delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Are we still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? <laughs> yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. Driscoll's? Okay. Working girls. I like the sound of that. Bakertons. Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. Well, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just... You know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. you. Gave us some herbs. Replenish your cores used in cooking and to craft items. All right. Not bad. We're going to take our coat off when it lets us. Got a little bit too hot down here. We're, uh... We're struggling. It's hurting our stamina and our health and stuff. There's lots of wildlife too, dude. This is this is good. This is a good spot for us. I like it. I don't like how the rest of the gang left without us, though. I feel like you shouldn't really leave a man behind. There you are, brother. Head in there. And follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Up on here, bud. Okay, let's go. It's kind of cool. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. This ain't so bad. I think we can deal with this. Nice little clearing, you top of a mountain, right, probably a nice breeze. This place is perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now? 
It is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. The land of opportunity, baby. Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track name of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. <laughs> that seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't <laughs> remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. <laughs> Do it properly. Goodness gracious. She's a, a trip. All right, so this is our nice little humble abode. We'll take it. Chapter two, Horseshoe Overlook. Not quite thriving yet, but uh, we are surviving. A couple of weeks later. We got off the mountain, and rode east into some Pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. Look at that beard. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. Hi there. Jose. <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> All right, boys. Well, sounds like we're gonna have some new missions and it's about time we get to work. Your beard is getting long. You can use the shaving kit beside your tin or visit a barber shop to maintain your facial hair. Where's our, uh, where's our shaving kit? Eat, sleep, sit, examine. Change clothing. Dude, this is crazy. 
So we've got our tithing box where we need to go like donate money and supplies and stuff to keep the camp up to par. Oh, here's here's where we shave, I would imagine. I do like the beard, I'm not gonna lie. Let's go ahead and let's just do all the facial hair, man. Looks good. We can also get pomade and, and slick our hair back. That's kind of nice. We got to stay presentable for the people, though. I feel like that looks good. We've got our little tithing box over here where we can donate money and supplies and such. Um, let's give an item. Down, gold jointed bracelet. Sure. And I'll give uh, I'll give two of these. Seventeen dollars worth of items have been contributed. I'm not really sure how much we need to do in general, but that's looking pretty good. We got our butcher over here. Good morning, Arthur. How do we see how much meat we have? We looking good on meat, bro? Good morning. We can donate here as well. This stew is decidedly lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. Gritty fish meat. Mature venison meat. Can't Down. wait to taste this. Thank you, Arthur. Got some meat for the people. Looks good. I guess this is probably where we can come and grab some food when we need it. Or this, this over here. I don't think we really need it yet, though. All right, we're looking good. I say it's about time we go uh, go out and check on some missions. All right, guys. So it looks like our nearest uh, our nearest objective is Uncle right here. Go ahead and wake him up. See what he's up to. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Careful not to work yourself to death, there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying. Fighting to try to survive. You get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you wanna head into town? See if we can find anything out? Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. If you gonna take the old man into town, you can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Off to Valentine we go. Let's get it, boys. Yep. We're going to head to town. So we're in like this little plateau up above the town. That's where our, our safe house and our camp is. But uh, we're going to go into town and see what we got going on. Ladies, sing us a song. Got some cross traffic here. What the heck? You want us to help? Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? I'll get his horse. Give me a second. Very serious. Should we go speak to him first? See what's going on. Lumbago, really. What's up, bro? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Well, I most certainly could. You can do it, Arthur. 
Got him. Let's go ahead and calm him. Come on. Come on. Come on, big boy. I know you want to come back with me. Come here. Good boy. <laughs> this is a big freaking workhorse, dude. Little intimidating. It's okay, it's okay. There you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Whoa! Are you gonna take him? Alright, we're good. We're back. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. <laughs> what was that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse mode lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> Now those sheep, <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. Speaking of which, we haven't taken a shower it's yet, like boys. A decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh no, Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us, or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Go left here, down the main street. So this is the main street of town right here. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Got the saloon, the drugstore, general right. store. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember cool. that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. This town is thriving. It's alive, man. This is really cool. It's a good spot. There's even a puppy coming to greet us. Here we are, just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. Can we pet him? Man at its finest. No. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, plenty of self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. We're like the one pump chump. <laughs> you are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, Items inside a shop can be purchased. Hell, or drop a whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf. Here's the door. I mean, that's the most important part, but let me see your catalog here, brother. Dude, this is crazy. Provisions, tonics, ammo, anything, hunting and fishing, uh, horse care, clothing. Maybe. This is ridiculous. Canned food, fresh food, dry goods, liquor, tobacco. Let me see your tonics. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? <laughs> see this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. They've got <laughs> cocaine right, gum, dude. Right. Rifle cartridges. This is, you can buy arrows. 
cover scent lotion for hunting, herbivore bait. Dude, what? This is insane. Well Poor done. stimulants. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. I'm gonna take a look at this coffee. What do we that have here? Do Ground Let's go coffee. Wait for them outside. All the best, fellers. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. The fact that you actually have to look through a book and like turn the pages is insane, dude. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. They're working wow. hard. It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Hey, come here. What you doing with my woman? You, find you, Tilly. you can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. What is this about? I've been looking. I'm gonna try to defuse it. Hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You wanna find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Well, some free advice. Watch out for Black Eyed Sarah. On, can I help you, sir? You seen Karen? I, I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. <laughs> <laughs> About to be some trouble, boys. Man, room 2B, no he said. Now, please. What'd you say now? Does not sound good. Let's go and kick this bad boy down. Hey! Hey, you! A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Here we go, baby. Good night. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. Oh, look at her bruises, okay? dude. Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock oh, town. Uh, There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Hmm. So we got a bank we could Thank potentially you, hit Arthur. and a train. We got two leads. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched <sighs> me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. <sighs> All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. On, Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on. Get. I don't like this. Me neither. 
Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Here we go. Shit. All right, buddy. We just stole somebody's horse. <laughs> He's yelling in the background, that's my horse. <laughs> Dude, this game is insane. That's far enough. I don't want no trouble. I'm gonna try to slow him down. I'm hoping not to shoot him. But if we shoot around him, maybe he'll... There we go. <gasps> What are we gonna do here? I'm gonna question him first. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no, I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. <laughs> I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up, please. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. I'll help him up. All right. Come on. As long as you keep quiet, bud. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. <sighs> There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man. Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Oh, me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. Dude, that's terrifying. That is absolutely terrifying. Uh, do you want to overwrite the data in the slot with your current game progress? Sure. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one cent <laughs> in this year old mind. See you later, Jimmy Brooks. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you have a nice day now, sir. That's great, man. Oh, that's... That's that's not as great. There's an option to pick up and examine this plant here. Let's see what we got going on. We'll keep it. Some wild carrot. That's gonna help us out for sure. That was... That was funny, dude. I liked that. Alright, let's see. Uh, what do we got going on next? Take a look at our map. We are down here near Valentine now. So we've got... Uh, Javier's got a mission for us. We've also got Reverend Swanson out here, and then Hosea back at the ranch. All right, let's um, let's ride back into town and see what we got going on <laughs> with our boy Javier. Yeah. Oh, carrots could be eaten or fed to your horse to replenish your health core. That's smart. Hopefully, Jimmy Brooks doesn't give us any issues. I mean, that's again part of it's like I want to. I want to be a good man, and I want to, like, I want to be very honorable and, like, do the right thing and stuff, but, like, sometimes tying up the loose ends may be a better idea. I, I don't know. It's, it's tough to judge. We probably should have hitched our horse rather than just leaving it in the street, but we'll be all right. Good old Javier and the, uh, the Arthur, saloon. Arthur, come here. Come here. Come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> nice. nice to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. 
How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. <laughs> yeah, regular dandy and a charm. Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, Boom. We have our answer. <laughs> well, we just started a bar fight. Here we go. Okay. We gotta learn how to dodge. I think it's square. Yeah. Yeah, square is dodge. Sometimes it doesn't work very well, though. He's out. There it is. What are y'all doing? Get out of here. Dude, what the heck? This is insane. Here we go. Come on, get off me. You knocked my hat off. That ain't cool. Ooh. That's a one hit KO. Save Javier. Sucker punched in the back of the head. You want some too, huh? Come on, pretty boy. Pretty boy. Here we go. You won't be so pretty when I'm done. Nice block. Good work. Try to try to dodge and go for the parries. I hope you got more than that. Okay, we're getting our butt beat, dude. Whole town is watching. Ooh, there you go. Come on, baby. Okay. He keeps grabbing us and throwing us. Come on. Yes. Right in the nuts. Let's go. Get on top of him. Start wailing. You want to break? No? I'm just going to keep on going then. Stop! Stop! Please! Please! I beg you. Stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelon, <laughs> the very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? 
Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. But a wash up in a barrel full of water on the side of the road looks good. <laughs> Goodness gracious, dude. Arthur is a mess. All right. Mission was complete. That's good. We can go in here, and I think we're going to be able to loot up all these dudes. We just hop through the window. <laughs> I mean, if they're in a... If they're in a saloon, I would hope that they'd have... Decent money, maybe. Let's go get our hat back. Don't want to leave that. I guess we can't loot them in here. Oh, I think our next move is going to be to head to camp. Let's, uh... Let's go see what we got going on. We got one of our men still out there in Blackwater. We're eventually going to have to go save, but it sounds like we're going to have to get some intel and, and get some information before we're able to go get them. So, let's head back. 